Hello there and welcome to Pal World. This video is going to be a tips on getting started. Now I watched the uh, top five videos on getting tips and it was one in 20 or was actually something useful. So I'm going to cover uh, that one in 20 and all my tips too that they didn't have in their video. So let's get started right there. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to be starting right here. Activate the fast travel point uh, is going to be important. But the first mo uh, pals you're going to want to capture are going to be these little cat guys right here. So I recommend you getting five of these guys right away as your first five guys because the first five guys you get are going to fill up your party and these guys have other special abilities on but what you're looking for is their passive ability right here that means they can actually carry weight and that's 50 each so uh, you have five of these guys in your party you can carry weight is going to go up 250 each and these guys also have mining so they can mine some uh, stone for you too uh, while you're out uh, doing your first uh, you know explorations and base building and stuff like that you need that materials and they will mine some stone for you since that's going to take a while with your stone picks uh, on you so when you start the game you only start off with 300 weight so that brings us to where you're going to level up on your stats as you can see i got a thousand one hundred naturally uh, so that's going to be nice but work speed is something you're not going to need to touch don't level up your work speed at all your pals do that for you can't level defense and attack is going to be the same thing your pals are going to be doing attacks for you you don't need to level up that yourself it's kind of a hindrance actually leveling up yourself because you want guys weak you don't want to kill them uh, right so stamina is going to be very important you need that for gliding and climbing and swimming if you get caught in the water and all that running and stuff like that so yeah and then your hit points of course you're going to need a lot of those so when you level up just worry about your hit points your stamina and then your weight and since your first five pals you have are going to be cats uh, you don't have to worry about your weight just right off the bat it is 50 weight per level just like them so they basically adding a level of weight for you that you can temporarily use and put back and of course be aware of their special abilities because you're going to want guys uh, with, with the extra carry weight there's going to be other pals with it that have the um, uh, mining form and ability as a special ability that means you can mine uh, stuff 25% faster and that stacks up too so having five guys with mining foreman means you're going to be mining uh, that much more faster it's going to be really helpful and handy so let's go on to some movement tips right here and the first one right there is involves the grappling gun you're going to get that uh, eventually uh, you know later on uh, you're going to get that level 12 i think it is or something close to that but this could be a pain in the ass to do you guys swip uh, swish the uh, grappling gun uh, after you use it before you get to your target uh, type of thing so you got to use it switch it and then hit your space bar and then use your glider to fly you'll get an extra speed boost i really suck at it you got to find a good location it's all about location and uh, where your angle is and how far your grappling gun can go to actually get it to activate and uh, so you can fly so there you go switch it and fly you get a nice good speed boost with your glider almost made it uh, for that so that's one way to travel a little bit faster on your gliders the other way is sliding and jumping and then gliding so you just run around you slide you jump and you glide you'll get a nice speed boost off, off of it that way so you can get some nice Nice and good speed going off that way. So that's going to cover our, our movement uh, things right there. In case you don't get, you're not going to get access to good flyers right away. Um that's the other thing you don't have to worry about don't worry about finding whatever the best flyer is in the game and how fast it can go and all that kind of stuff because everything is going to be level gated anyways and all the technology you're going to need to get those saddles is going to be really high level so yeah, you're looking at uh, high level saddles and like level 40 range type of thing you want guys like this as one of the uh, third best flyers or second best maybe you know, probably the third best maybe but yeah level 40 to get them so you, yeah, it's going to be a long time to get them just get whatever flyer you can get at the time and uh, this guy here is going to be level 33 is a good guy to get because he's a little bit faster than the next level up there but i think he's good too but uh yeah just don't worry about it because you only have access to what you're going to have access to for your saddles so don't uh you know be bogged down by that and another thing to be bo don't be bogged down by is where you're starting from so this is where you naturally start from full of uh, resources and a little little pals and stuff like that but uh don't bother building your base in this location. And there's not, um, uh, it's not the best locations in the game. You have the nice big area where your pals are going to be working. Once you build your pal deck uh, thing right there, so once you build your pal box, uh, you can take it apart. So don't worry about having your base in a bad spot if you're just watching this now and you already started. You can take it apart and do it later. But what you want to do is maybe uh, build a chest to drop all your gear by the fast travel point if you want to, uh, or change the settings uh, temporarily for yourself and just hit the respawn button and kill yourself. So why are you going to do this? Do this at the start of the game you don't have any resources yet to worry about who cares about the crap you have to start with you got some rocks and some stones and some stone weapons and armor uh, who cares it doesn't matter you can get those again right away i know that kind of stuff so all this places right here are uh, spawn points and most of these places have a fast travel point right beside them um, this one here doesn't and some of them are a little bit of a walk away but not too far but all of these locations on these other little islands here all have fast travel points 
So you can go over there and die and respawn at these locations and then you can activate these fast travel points and then, then bam, there you go. You got a free technology point for activating the new fast travel point and you have access to different pals. So most of them are going to be the same but they're all going to be low level at all of these locations and since you have to capture 10 of each, it's a lot easier to catch these guys at low level than it is higher level. So yeah, these guys level 3 and a lot, a lot easier than the first time you can meet them at level 12 or so at the other location. But so yeah, do that. Uh, to go around there and kill yourself and fast travel to all these locations and then you should be good to go another place to note for yourself on the map is this is where the boss is right there the first boss you fight that they want you to go to uh, with a little cave nearby uh, over here i didn't even mark that yet so i should, I should mark it with uh, what i use is the uh, star to mark a little camp so there's camps where you can rescue pokemon and little uh, dungeons and stuff like that but right here is a nice good mining location by this place right here like nine iron nodes don't build a base there if we're looking for a place where you're basing building your bases right there i would recommend uh, spawning over here and uh, building your base right here for your first base is make your way over there because your base will act as a fast travel point and this is a nice location right here because as you can see it's all walled up with stones naturally and then you have two iron nodes right here and another two right there so make sure your iron nodes are inside your circle so your pals with a level three iron ability and higher can start mining them for you and that's a good place right there to, to start your first base another good place to make your base or maybe your second base is uh, you might want to have a base where there's actual iron and uh, coal which is right here on the map so right here on the map there is a uh, whole bunch of iron there there is a coal uh, spawn right there and there's also a tree a uh, tree with skill fruits uh, skill fruits you can give to any of your pals and they can learn whatever skills you have on there so this is a nice place where i'm going to be building my main base is right here because it has the coal and has lots of mining nodes and it's relatively flat it's not the best flat but you will see with the circle uh, what i mean on that so, uh, for uh, making your circle so when you have your pals uh, they are summoned uh, you know my, my, my pal back is facing this way my pal box sorry so when I get a pal out here, I can take this human off there. You can capture humans if you want. So capture merchants and uh, you can capture uh, the black market merchants and uh, have pals, but they're hard to catch. But you can talk to them and they will uh, do stuff. It's not really nice to capture humans, uh, they say. But you can talk to them, buy stuff and do that merchant stuff. But yeah, all this on um, iron nodes right here are relatively flat. There's the coal node, there's the tree. And then this is your blue zone right here. This is where your pals work. This defines the border of where your pals work. It doesn't define where your base has to be. So where you have to build your, build your own stuff. So just make sure your pals have uh, clear access and pathways to actually uh, manage all of the all, all the things you're going to build. You're going to build tons of things and farms and stuff like that. Uh, make sure your pal box is, has an open area for where they can spawn in and pathways to get to where they're going because they can be really big and have access to where their food is. Uh, put your workbenches facing uh, you know whatever way you want on the outside maybe. Uh, so because all your pals are going to be doing work here. Uh, and they're going to do the work and they're going to be uh, doing their work facing the direction that the, the that uh, is being built so uh, do that properly yeah he's, he's so fast right so that's why you do have them do it and not you do it uh, for your stuff but yeah when you're building your base build your house and everything that outside this circle and do not build any walls inside this circle or any big stru structures for that matter build everything on the outside the circle of your base uh, for yourself because your pals will get stuck on it and they'll get blocked in by walls you see this stuff uh, jump down there they, they always spawn in from above and land on stuff so anything that any structure you have they'll get stuck on top of it so yeah uh, just only build the stuff that your pals are going to be working on your workbenches and stuff like that uh, for your uh, bases now uh, that will cover all the uh, the basic um, base building logistics. The other thing you're going to want to worry about is food for your pals. Always get your uh, uh, food and start cooking it because they have that sand value on it right there. So if they eating food with a sand value that's cooked, uh, they recover that sanity and that's their working uh, thing right there. If they get injured or they're, they're feeling stressed out, uh, they eat and they get that sanity back. So uh, ba baked berries is a good way to start. Uh, eggs is also really good to start with uh, for your food. And, well, you can also do this and make it fall back up to 20 minutes again. But yeah. Uh, eggs are really good uh, the egg value is nice but the second thing you're going to get is a wheat right away so making your main base and have wheat farms on there and make bread bread is really good it has a low nutrition value but it has like four sand value on it so uh, the nutrition value is higher than this of course but you know, a low as I mean like it's under 30 for what it is for sand value so it has a good sand value versus uh, nutrition so that means they're going to gain a lot of sanity back right there so having your bread is really good but I would move on to eggs and uh, you could just go with eggs and uh, do that too uh, because they're a little bit 
higher than berries, but the later on you're going to get some tomatoes, and it's just like one tomato and some and a couple eggs, and you can build uh, this omelet right here, which is 67 food. The way these guys eat in this game is they, they go down to 50% on their food, and then they eat. So eating like a little berry of 20, uh, they'll be back again in like in like 10 minutes or so. They'll be back and eat a berry, and then they'll have to go go to work, and then they'll path find and go, then go work and back and forth. Uh, so if they eat uh, the other stuff, it's going to be a lot faster for them to actually recover their nutrition and then there'll be less time running back and forth and that's a nice easy food to make that's high quality uh, for you to actually uh, make in this game so let's cover uh, we covered the uh, the, the basic uh, base building mechanics everything else you're going to want to learn on these other tip videos is all about reading your menu so just read your menu like you know hit R you know it's, it doesn't say it says all your stuff right here R quick stack all this kind of stuff you don't need to learn that stuff for, you can read that stuff and uh, be uh, just just read just read read all your read all their pals build and all that kind of stuff learn it for yourself uh, all those uh, things are really easy to learn now uh, this is something you might want to be aware of is to actually just do that and you'll learn more about this game than you will from those uh most of these other videos that are just annoying to me uh, actually so anyways the uh, next thing we're going to do is combat so combat all these bo bosses respawn and as for base building uh the other trick you can do for base building is like for example this guy over here he's level 50 and maybe i want to kill him now is i can make my third base uh, nearby here and then summon my 20 guys or so and then attack him and kite the guy towards my base and then have all my pals attacking him too so yeah uh, 21 pals versus one and then there you go nice big huge uh, battle royale to kill a high level guy and uh, capture them because you can capture bosses of course in this game too but let's go there and show you some of the combat tips so we can end this and then have a little cheap tip right there so uh we'll uh, take out uh, which guy i want to take out that's nice and close by i think he's got a teleporter hey, let's go out and find this use the useful guy where are you useful guy he is in the middle somewhere where where is the middle there he's over here uh warsaw 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 there you are right there Warsaw. guy because this guy right here he is a uh, level three miner so you might want to know where he was on the map and uh, get access to him let's uh, check out the map again right here in the middle there's that base i talked about so here he's right there got a cave nearby uh, where are you uh, level 20 guys attacking right away get up there fly yeah you got the fly and these guys get a double jump there we go no, no bubbles for you. You barely hurt me anyways. But anyways, uh, there is the spawn thing right there. Let's go off. Glide. Yeah, you can fight. Oh, fight to your heart's content. Whatever. I'm going and teleporting. So we'll go ahead and fight this guy and show you some of these combat tips. So uh, we'll start it off with this guy right here. And I'll start the combat and I'll fill my grenade at him. There you go. Merry Christmas. What the hell are you doing up there? No, don't get attacked. Come on. Get back. There you go. First tip right there. He's getting attacked. Put them back in. Summon them back out again. Avoid your attacks that way. Just dodge these guys and hide around pillars and stuff like that. Uh, so you hide around pillars and objects. Let your pals fight. If they're going to get hit by a big attack, pull them back. Oh, no, sorry. Oops. There you go. And then if your guy is going half dead, uh, you know, just, hello. Nice big attack. Good job. Missing me. Uh, he's going to do his attacks. I'm going to hide behind the pillar. Uh, once he gets hurt, I, I, I would bring him on there half dead. So once you get hurt and half dead, uh, you can go ahead and cast a different guy. And then he will passively heal as they're uh, uh, in, inside your team. So all your pals will passively heal uh, as you're just, you know, doing the fight. And then you can just cycle through all five of your guys and kill higher level guys, which are, it's going to be easy. Like this guy's lower level, so it's not really much of a challenge anymore. But uh, uh, you can kill him on a lot lower guys that are really higher level. Uh, just by doing this because you can cycle through uh, as you see fish just don't let them die uh, you know then they get half dead bring them in and cycle them through and they'll recover their hit points and you know just wait for the combat to end let's see this this guy which guy is good at attack this guy's probably my best attacker still and he's already uh, healed up full oh that was a charge that is a big chunk of my shield but yeah shield's only 500 for me right now but uh, there you go, and that's how you can do it. Now we can cycle through our pal balls, and, and do, yeah, I don't have much. I don't use my best. I guess I use my best, my best one that I have. But do you shotgun me? Load. Shotgun him, probably kill him. <laughs> nice charge. But yeah, that's my tips on the combat right there. It's nice and simple and easy. Uh, they're gonna get hit, pull them back. Uh, you know, cycle them out when their hit points are low. Okay, let's see. get his attack in there. So the next guy, oh, big attack. Oh yeah, seed bomb. That, that, tra that, that tracks you. There we go. Better get him out there. This guy, this guy's stunned. So let's uh, stun this guy. Come on. Yeah, I know you want to get him. Get over here. There you go. Now we can stun him. Where, where'd you go? Way over there. There you go. He's stunned. Well, now I can capture you. There you go. And you can capture the bosses. Yeah, after. 
bomb, right? Then, yeah, these guys right here have level three mining, uh, so they're handy. You get your civilization parts and stuff like that. So go around there and explore the whole map at the start of the game. Unlock those areas so you can check stuff out and uh, go ahead and uh, you know find these low level bosses that you can kill easy that are all over the map when you start. So like over here for an example, you're near here, that's level 23. You can't kill that right away. And Nightwing is your first flyer. There's a boss for it, so you can get a boss Nightwing if you want. This guy's level level two, medium level two, but I guess still all the lower levels are over here a little bit more. So uh, find something easy. That guy right there is easy to kill in close by level 11. Uh, that's a little bit higher. Um, other low-level bosses, right there is one, level 11, that uh, 23 might be a little bit too hard at the start of the game. Penguin guy, easy enough. Uh, anything that's level 10, but you can go on there and just, you can explore all these areas right here and try and find these low-level guys to kill and get your uh, points. So you can actually learn the, your technology points and hatch eggs. Eggs is going to be the next tip we're going to go cover right here. The eggs are, uh, uh, the, 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 the pals that hatch in the eggs are going to be a zone Pacific pals only. They're all going to look the same. They're all going to be named the same, including the breeding ones, but they are going to be different. So the green egg you capture over here is going to be different from the green small egg you capture in this area right here, where there's higher level guys including these uh, fire level ones here so if you want guys like the, this guy right here or any natural spawn in this area of course you need high heat resistance to actually go uh, fire on in this area uh, but you get the uh, you get the idea so any of the pals that are located in these areas that you want and then you can't really fight and you're just flying around and being cheap just go around and collect all the eggs and then you can hash the eggs on your incubator and they'll hash the pals from this zone so you don't actually have to capture them all you can just go ahead and capture eggs instead of uh, getting those high level guys you can't really kill you can sneak around and uh, go ahead and do that and that get that technology is uh, right there at level seven and an egg incubator and that's like one boss I think you only have to kill maybe two uh, maybe two new ones, uh, but uh, yeah, you get those low level ones if we're using that, those, that, the tactics I showed you, it'll be really easy to do. So, the last tip I'm going to give you is one that you probably shouldn't use, and that is uh, uh, bugging the system out uh, on uh, bugging your gear out there. So, yeah, you can go over here and see the shield right here I have. This is a nice bubble of 540, or I can go with my armor. Maybe I want a huge defense value, so I just don't take any damage from stuff, but you know, 180 armor. So, maybe I want my armor to be everywhere. So, maybe I don't want my helmet to be just 100, and that's it so maybe I want my armor to be there so that's how you do it uh, maybe I want my shield uh, and maybe I want my helmet where my shield is maybe I want to put my shield on this accessory and then put another shield on my accessory or put shields everywhere put armor everywhere you get the idea you can mix and match these six slots with anything you want but I will definitely leave a glider you might as well just leave the glider on because you're definitely going to want that but if you don't want to for a boss fight for example on a boss fight, you might want that extra armor or extra shields. You can go ahead and mix and match. This, this bug isn't fixed yet, but of course, it's going to be fixed eventually. So I'll just be aware of that. But it is it is there right now, and people can do that. And you can do that if you really want to for the fun of it. But uh, um, the only practical use I would use this for right now is having a, uh, a hot resistant and cold resistant on at the same time. So you don't have to mix and match uh, stuff and be a pain in the ass. And it will, you know, you know, it's still going to be an armor bonus. But if you have a shield, it doesn't really matter too much about your armor. Um, it all depends on how you're going to play it out. Tank stuff with armor or shield it up. It all, all depends on you. But uh, I wouldn't really, that's still a cheating. You have having the hot and the cold at the same time. But it's just more practical to do that if you really wanted to. That's something I might do. Because uh, I just find it annoying going back and forth and switching my armors out. Because some zones are hot and some zones are cold uh, right beside each other. But anyways, uh, that's it for today. Uh, if you need more information and a little bit longer tips, I'm going to do a uh, starting guide. Which is going to be a little bit more in depth. But, uh, you know, I covered all the tips nice and quickly here uh, that I remembered at least. Uh, all the other tips are going to be there. And also going to have a base building guide and an example when I get my base actually built uh, and properly done after all my experience of not doing it right the first 10 times. But you get the idea. So thanks for watching and I will uh, see you later.